YouTube, it's your boy OG T Main, and today we got before they were famous, the real Nico Bennett. Who was he before Four Bats? I never listened. I only listened to them song. I come I only listened to that. And who's this shit by? Since I didn't put it for my first video before they were famous, I didn't, first time reading to it. But that being said, let's get to the video. The yeah, fuck, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Like I really, I really had a, a crazy upbringing. I can't wait to tell the world that shit. Like yo. before, four bats would clock in around two hundred fifteen thousand subscribers on YouTube, seven hundred fifty thousand followers on Instagram, and nearly one million followers over on TikTok at the time of this recording. Before Four Bats would sign to Drake's OVO Sound and be rumored to land on the 2024 freshman class list. Mm -hmm. Now, until recently, what well, little was known about Four Bats and his come up story. Now, this young artist, he seems to always be wearing his hood and his beautiful voice on his now viral tracks. Well, it doesn't exactly match his tough guy persona. Now, user generated videos with titles like he does not look like he sounds. And what does Four Bats actually sound like? Well, they started popping up all over the internet. But not until he sat down for a Q&A with GQ and Aiden Ross did we start to get some proper answers about where he's from and how he got his name for bats. Now this dude's got quite the life story. In fact, he slept in a church for four years. Now the internet is- Four years? Mm. Anyone born two thousand better than me? But hey, that just goes to tell you. He was born on August 6th, the year 2000. Before bats, he finally set the record straight. Yeah, how old are you? <laughs> I gotta know. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cause the internet says I'm born August the 6th and I'm 22 years old. Now I was actually checking out the four songs on Four Bats' YouTube channel before making this video, and the top comment on his Drake collab, it cracked me up. Four Bats real for giving the new artist Drake an opportunity. But truthfully, this fresh voice for the world of R&B and hip hop, well, it skyrocketed to fame in under a year. And his journey to stardom, well, it started not so long ago. It's pretty crazy to see how far he's come and how uh, blowing up on TikTok has changed his life practically overnight so uh let's dig into this before they're famous on four bats here for you on you guessed it before they're famous let's get her done now four bats according to the internet he was born on august 6th the year 2000 but now we know this well not to be true now other search results they state that he was born on november 5th 2003 which matches up a little closer with what he told aiden ross yeah, how old are you i gotta know hold on hold on hold on Cause the internet says I'm born August the 6th and I'm 22 years old. Now his birth name is actually Nico Bennett and he hails from Dallas, Texas. Now in the music video for his From the Block performance for act two, date at eight, well, you can see street sign Strawberry TR6500, which a quick Google search tells us, yeah, he's in the Dallas community. And then cruising over his TikTok account, there are other videos filmed at Dallas locations. So the guy's repping his hometown. Now Complex did a deep dive into his come up story, but the most candid info that's been revealed, well, it comes from his interview with both Aiden and Silky, where he shared that his come up story, well, it's a, actually a bit of a tragic one. I'd be, I'd be green and just say, it's all me, I'm just, I'm just a record, like, yeah, yeah. Huh, bro. Like, that has struggles, mm -hmm. deal with this is that, me over, mm -hmm. Damn. and, I, I mean, I made some musical. Now, if you didn't catch all that, I know he's wearing a Belcava or whatever you call those. Well, he said he was growing up in a tough situation and he struggled a lot. But in the end, well, hey, he made some great music and now things are moving in his direction. Now, in a recent profile with GQ, well, the brief bio it reads, it says he never had a stable home. He once pulled a 12 hour shift at a warehouse to avoid trouble and became determined to blow the F up in order to make an ex regret dumping him. Yeah. Now that GQ article, it also coined him to be- Turn up on these hoes, nigga. Fuck is you talking about? Fuck them hoes. Don't trust bitches. 
You want to dump me? Okay, I'm going to dump these hundreds at your front door, bitch. Back to the video. Actually be Rap's next superstar. Now he opened up to GQ, he told them a lot. He basically stated that his entire life he's felt that he is cursed. And he also wanted to state that he's not from the hood, he's from worse, he's from the slums. All right, I'm gonna paraphrase a short little insert from this GQ article, but it explains a lot about Forbats' years prior to fame. He also contemplated suicide more than once, and he's never had a real home. He stated, I don't know what it's like to have a house. I only lived in an apartment probably two times in my life. The rest of the time I was living with my uncle, my grandma, sleeping on the floor. I slept in a church for four years. My God, when you think about that, sleeping in a church for four years and the kid's only 20, you know, that's a good part of his adult years or like post-teen. The guy's kind of homeless. Now his stage name, it's homage to his upbringing. The four, it refers to parts of Dallas, where he's from. And Bats, well, he says that comes from his reputation for fighting and holding it down. He told GQ, you know when you bat someone the F out of here. Boom! Now you can check out his GQ interview for more details on like how a girl from Chicago dumped him, which led to him finding the motivation to blow the F up. That's right, some of these songs he's put out, well, they're about a special filly who broke his heart. He was in a long distance relationship with a girl from Chicago, and uh, well, she all of a sudden was like, I don't F with you no more. Now let's take a look at what his music career has turned into just last October. Well, he uploaded a video for Act One, Stickers 99, to his YouTube channel, and the video has since collected over 3.6 million views. I'm glad that that ad did come, cause, hey, he's gonna get my ass. Now he followed that up with the release of his hit single, Act 2, Date at 8, in December of 2023. And let's just say it was a very Merry Christmas because this song quickly went super viral and it caught the attention of many an industry insider in Hollywood. He started getting shout outs from Ye, who called him his new favorite artist. And then a collab was cooked up with none other than Drizzy Drake. Mm. Now, no doubt you have heard this song, either the original, Dated 8, or the collab featuring Drizzy Drake. Now, the song, it became an anthem used all over TikTok, typically by uh, good-looking girls who made uh, their own dances to the lyrics or reenacted some of it. I'll come and start by 8 p.m. And send a text to your DM. It basically became an anthem, and tens of thousands of people, they posted videos with this song. Now the top comment on the original music video, it reads, it's fresh, it's exactly what we need right now in the music industry. Now a lot of people are feeling Forbats' energy, they're loving his style, and that's why both Ye and Drake, well, they decided they had to work with this young kid. But it was Drake who moved in first, and he ended up signing Four Bats to OVO Sound. They also got Four Bats, his first entry on the Billboard Hot 100, when Drake jumped on Date at 8 for a collab. Then on May 3rd of 2024, when they released his debut mixtape, You Made Me a Star? That's a four Damn. instead of an A. Sorry, it took me a second there. And that included the remix of Act 3 on God. She like... And that there, that had a feature from Kanye West, which only further cemented Forbats' connection with the hip-hop elite. Now, his meteoric rise to fame and coming from absolutely nowhere to blowing up overnight, it really goes to show you we're living in a new era where anyone can do it, posting stuff to TikTok, posting stuff to YouTube, catching the world's attention. I'm trying to catch the world's attention right now with my content. You see me? But I got it blowing the f up also that girl in chicago man she's gotta be kicking herself mm -hmm. so the future is bright for this young man let's wish him the best of luck poor Bats's journey is just getting started i mean he's quickly becoming a household name and his story it's a testament to how rapidly the music industry all right that's it if y'all like the video make sure you like comment subscribe hey i gotta go listen to his music well yeah I got I gotta listen to what everybody else listen to. I'm gonna listen to it while I'm editing, as a matter of fact. So yeah. Hope y'all enjoyed the videos. It's your boy OGT Main signing out. Edie.